Hello Pisces, how are you? Um, Pisces, thank you for all those who like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who donate and get private readings. And thank you for all of those who go onto my web and purchase my item, my candles. That's my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle. This is the Abundant and Prosperity candle. This is the Love candle. The Love Yourself candle. I have the Justice candle burning. This is the Walnut. This is the Cleanse Your House. This is my um, Sage. It comes with Palo Santo. This is my Oil in Dry Form. In Dry Form. I have my salt baths, which is really good. I also have herb baths, and I have um, my stones, my crystals, all right, my jewelry. If you go in there, you will, I'm sure you will find something. Um, Pisces, today has been one really sad day, um, and I told y'all that November is one of the hardest months for me to go through. Um, I have a Yorkie and she was, she lived with me for 16 years and, um, she was the one that slept with me and everything. Um, she was sick and we took her to the doctors and they said she was going to have seizures for the rest of her life because <clears throat> she was old, but in my heart, I knew it that she was going to be leaving me soon. So... Um, she passed away this morning at 5.35, and tomorrow is my mother's anniversary that passed away the 23rd, and she passed away the 22nd. So it was hard for me to deal with. Um, but I am the kind of person that no matter what, I went to work when my mom passed. I didn't even never mourning. And this has been hard. Um, my animals are my kids. And um, I, I'm just grateful to have a son that I have that always been here whenever I need him. He runs. And he was here to help me get everything I had to get together. So I want to say thank you to him. And this was hard. So um, I still went on and worked and still did everything. I just prayed and prayed the whole time, and I just asked God to please help me through this and help both of us through this. But I thank God for giving me 16 years of nothing but beautiful moments. And I know that she's with the other kids' minds. I've been a really good mother to my animals. And this is a hard one. So, um, I thank you all for your comments and your prayers. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm a strong Pisces, you know. Uh, and I know that God, nothing lasts forever. So like I say, um, I just thank God for giving me the opportunity to have her for 16 years. And I gave her the best years of her life and she gave me the best years of my life. So I thank God for that. Pisces, I'm going to jump into your reading, okay? And like I said, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, I ask the universe and Art Michael and Jonah Art to please come into this reading and to remove the energy 
my energy away from this reading and help me and guide me to do his work. Thank you. So I'm going to jump right into the reading. And like I said, thank you again for all the prayers and reaching out to me. Thank you. I'm doing some shuffling here. I'll send out my prayers to everyone that's going through salt today. Today is Tuesday, November the 22nd. 2022. It's a lot of twos. It's a lot of twos. And Pisces, it's a lot of coming together with families. All right. It's a lot of new things that's coming into your life. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Empress giving birth to a new idea, giving birth to a new thing. Um, Pisces, um, I'll tell you that it's a lot, it's a lot. So, Today is the day that um, it's a day of gathering of a family or a bond that was strengthened. Business, plans, all right? Is a plan, is a plan where things are going to be moving on and it's good things are going to be happening, but Remember, Pisces, um, it's a good day. It's a good day, you know? Um, as far as your education, as far as you're doing better, and it's a fresh new start, all right? But pay attention to that person statements as is likely to um to really tell you a lot about a person okay um you may experience mood swings that makes it difficult for you to concentrate this is a time to get your act together and make sure everything is in place okay as per Pisces Deli, Hoskin, 2022, it is a well-known truth that Pisces is one of the Zodiac, all right, they got the strong temper, but you must not allow this to enter your mind, all right, and it's telling you about temptations, okay? You must have faith in yourself and everything will be fine shortly. Allow this allow for center flaws, for certain flaws in yourself and in others. And remember that no one is flawless. Maybe this is um something that you're going through, but be patient. Give yourself permission to meet your goals. And this is saying that this is bringing back families together, you know, and it's, you got to stay strong in the decision that you're going to make. And it's a nice, nice time in your life for things to happen for you, good things, um, like moving up in business or whatever it is that you want to do. This is the time to do it. Spirits, tell me what Pisces need to know. The Queen of Pentacles, she's sitting there looking 
and what is to come. The Queen of Pentacles, okay? She knows her worth. She knows her worth. She works, all right? She works hard and she likes to invest her money. She likes to be organized. Um, she is the one that, um, has it going on, all right? But she don't have to flirt it. It's like she got it. But it takes a lot of patience and understanding, all right? A lot of patience and understanding. And the queen of... Pinnacles does just that. She has all the patience and all the understanding for what is to come. Okay? It's like you enjoy your deepest connection life in and lead it with an outpour of warmth. Like you're very good. You're kind hearted. You could be a healer working with parents, self-made person, okay? Um, in the material world, you're doing good with your abundance, your wealth. Strong in family and in community. A kind, you're kind and nurturing. You have a good heart. You're down to earth, you know? People like that about you, that you down to earth. All right? Tell me more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So you got a couple here. You got a couple here. Oh, God, I don't know what all this is. Okay, so I thought it said tell me more. All right, but so you got the five of wands. All right? The five of wands, um, a change, a challenge, right? Um, this is telling you, um, this is telling you that this might be a petty fight or people arguing with you or fight at work or fight with families or whatever it is, but it's real petty. Something petty. It's not nothing to get over work with. It's real petty. You know what I mean? Like, it may be confrontation or um, gossiping and all of that. Try to stay out of that shit. You know what I mean? The moon. Right? You got two towers, two different towers, a full moon. But it show you that path. I feel like you've been through something and you see it for what it is. Like, you're not trying to argue with nobody. You don't want nobody to take you, to make you upset. You just want to be in a flow. And it's like you're coming out of a lot of delusional and fiction and feeling like, I need to see things for what it is. I'm not going to fight because I'm going to see it for what it is. Like, you're not going to have me all in my mind. You're not going to have me drowning. You're not going to have me fight over bullshit, right? Because I'm the queen of pentacles, and I ain't got to deal with the bullshit. You understand? Like, I'm the one that's handling me. I'm the one that's going to make sure my kids is all right. I'm going to be the one that makes sure that I um pay the rent and the bills, all right? If somebody walks away from me, I'm still going to have to handle my business. It's like you handling your business, all right? But you don't have to argue with whoever this is or their family or whoever it is that's in the way or at work. Whatever it is, you don't have to argue because you're going to see everything for what it is, right? But you got this Knight of Swords, and this Knight of Swords, usually it shows like you seeing every damn thing for what it is. Like, you seeing people that want to come in and out of your life for what it is. You like, yeah, yeah, well, I can damn sure see you walking out. Because I'm not going to argue with you. Right? I'm not going to argue with you. You're not going to make me go there. And so, therefore, you're right. You, you can sit there and come and go out the door. Not back and forth, back and forth. 
Because it's like two people are looking at the same direction. Like you don't feel like going through this shit. Right? And you let somebody know it. Like you saying, I'm not doing this no more. I'm not doing this no more with you or nobody else. Like you letting it be known that you're not doing it. Okay? Like you don't have no more time for the childish, immature behavior. Like you you really going through a time in your life where either you're going to be moving, but it ain't no time for no fighting. Like I don't have the time. I got too much that I got to do. And it damn sure don't say sitting here arguing with you. All right. That's what that's what you know. That's what you saying. This this ain't got nothing to do with you or whatever it is that you want to bring to me. Okay. Um the fives is a challenge, a blockage, or a setback. So people want to challenge you, they need to stop, okay? They need to really stop. Um, but then, you know, you're not in the mood for none of that. It's like you're real short. Like, you are not playing. But with the moon here, it's like Pisces and Cancer, Water, Neptune, um, mysterious path. Like, you may not know what it is. And it may not, it may seem like you can't see through it all. But you're going to get there. Like, you're going to see it. All right? You're going to see it. Trust me when I tell you, you will see it. Believe me. It ain't no it's buts about it. You will see it, right? Now, um, as far as um, the nights, it's like you're saying, well, you know, the nights come in and out of your life. They come, they come fast and leave fast. Like, is this person like, are you saying to yourself, you know what? I really don't deal with this because I already know how this person operates. I know that they ain't going to be here too much longer. You know, I know that they like to run, right? And so that's how you feel about it. Like you saying, like, why? I don't feel like I need to do any of this, right? It's like you're not giving somebody the time in the day to come in and out of your life or run these little games, right? But this night is taking action. But it's like you're not fighting it. Like you're not fighting it. Like you letting it, whatever it is that they want to do, whether they want to go. It's like it ain't no you going and coming. It's like exit, take action, and know what you want to do when you take the action. And that's how you feel about this night. But this night, it's like you looking at everything that this night is already done. Like you, it's like a replay. But the replay is on for them because it's like you're not dealing with it. Okay? You're not. It's like you can read through it and you're not you're not dealing with none of it. So with this, with this um queen, it's like the queen ain't trying to fight. The queen don't fight. The queen of pentacles do not fight. Like she's the boss. Okay, like she might be putting shit together for you, or you might be um or somebody might be working for you and you like don't feel like hearing nobody arguing and fighting. And like you just want everybody to be cool. Like you don't want to hear. And this might be at your job or might be in your family or the kids or whatever. You know, but you seeing the thing, even though it may be difficult, but you seeing it for what it is. But you're not going to allow nobody to come in and out of your life. You ain't going to do that. It's like you can't get that for me no more. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not going to fight with you. But you ain't going to have me in your head. Like you're not going to control me. Okay. Now you got the king of pentacles. So it's now you got a couple. Two people doing the damn same thing. You know doing the damn same thing. But you got judgment. On this family. Okay. So yeah. Y'all been judged. Been judging each other. Been going through stuff. But it ain't nothing you can't overcome. All right. And things will be moving fast. And I mean fast. It's all this fast movement. So you got the 
the the ones that is fast, and then you got the king of sword that is fast. So all of this is gonna be happening fast. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more, spirits. So you got the moon judgment, right? Majors, the king, the queen, and the king. So you got a couple here. And I feel like you going through it, like you looking at everything for what it is. All right. And this king is saying, but I want this family. And I don't know, but I'm going to go for it. All right. Somebody's moving fast. I don't know if they're taking a flight, vehicle, moving, relocating. But somebody is getting ready to do this fast. Then you got the queen of swords. All right. The queen of swords. So is that saying it is three people in this relationship? Or is it saying that you're looking for the answers or somebody seeking answers? The death card with this queen. Something has to end for something to begin. You're not dealing with somebody's chaos. Or maybe this, this king of pentacles is ending it with this queen of swords. And going to the Queen of Pentacles, which he knows that he can have shit popping off. All right. Mm. Tell me more about this death. Tell me more about this death. So I feel like with this Queen of Swords, the death card is overtaking it all. And with this King of Pentacles, the judgment is taking it all. Right. And with the Queen of Pentacles, the moon is taking it off. So you, you need to decide about this. And you need to stop being so judge, judgmental. And you need to end something so something can begin. All right? Now, you got the sun and the world. Somebody here wants to offer you everything. They want to offer you everything. Okay, everything. Lord, you got every queen of damn choice. You got the queen of cups, which represents you. And then you got the wheel of fortune. Somebody is falling to hell off this wheel. All right. And it's going to leave you with one person, like a king. And it says this. So this person is holding a cup. So it might be the king of cups. But now you got somebody's choosing you over this Queen of Swords. But it's the will of fortune. It's saying because you're not controlling the situation and they know that you're not playing. They know that they can stay right where they're at because you don't care. You really don't care. All right. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords is bringing some type of communication. The t bringing some kind of communication. They want to be with you. They want to have this. Um, uh, they want this Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. They want. It's like you feel joy and you happy. Like things is looking good for you. And it's got two people. Sharing a cup, holding on to this one cup. And then you got the rainbow. So definitely what it is. But let's show our face, not just our hands. Okay? Let's show our face, not just our hands. The sun car in the world. The sun in the world. Tell me about this sun in this world car. The three of pinnacles. Somebody saving their money. Okay, they're not overspending. They want to make sure their money is right. They don't talk about how much money they got. They, they just want to be quiet about that. Tell me more about this. Queen of Cups. I'm so sorry, Pisces. Oh my God, I think I'm going to cry myself to sleep today. The lovers. So yeah, this person need to choose who they want to be with. Gemini. They need to choose. It's like... This person wants to give you everything, wants to love you. Don't tell you what kind of money they got or what they're going to give you. But they in love with you but got somebody else too. 
This person got a lot of shit going on with them. A lot of shit. Okay. So, let's find out what is. I feel like this. The Queen of Pentacles, no more fighting or somebody's being real petty and arguing over petty shit. But you the moon, you're like, I'm not trying to fight no more. No, it's not. I'm not going to even engage into this. But somebody here wants to come and talk to you, but they coming in fast. Okay? And they they source is sharpened. So they might come back getting smarter. So um somebody here that um wants to make you happy and offer you everything. And that's that king, that knight of swords. They just want I don't know if y'all celebrating this person likes to drink or y'all going to a party, whatever it is. It's going to be fun. It's like, you know, they can get over whatever madness it was. But with the King of Cups, now you got a partner. Judgment. So you got people, a family coming back together. You got a finger pointing. People always got something to say. But something is moving fast with this whole movement with you and this person. You got the Ace of Cups. Money's going to be looking good. Then you got the world. Damn, everything is round. You got the whole world in your hand. You got the sun, another round. All is yellow. But somebody here or you not tell nobody nothing about your money because it's like you got to save your money. That's how you feel. You don't want to spend your money. The queen of swords, somebody somebody here needs to find out what they're saying. Um, it needs to be an ending. They're going to have to make a decision. Spending. Not only is it spending... The Queen of Swords is here. The Queen of Cups is giving you some type of love that this person is going to have to decide who they want to be with. Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.